So lately, I have been yearning for some adventure. And trust me, in my time on YouTube, I have done some wacky adventures. I've e skewered from London to Paris. We've hitchhiked the sea. We've been robbed and abandoned in catacombs in Paris. But lately, I haven't really done anything. I've been chilling. I've been chilling way too hard and it's not okay. And whilst I've been chilling, there has been a voice in the back of my head saying, there is one challenge you have yet to complete. One that you promised you would do. If you remember when I e-scooted from London to Paris, you would remember that I said 20,000 likes, I'm riding a moped from London to Africa. Yes, Africa, Africa. So guys, I now present to you the night scoot. Yes, people, that is right. Today, I am starting my journey of riding this delivery scooter from London to Africa. 1,700 miles and at least four countries separate me from the continent of Africa right now. And I'm about to try and get there on this scooter, which I bought off Facebook Marketplace, for 900 quid. Bargain, mate. Sporting around 35,000 miles on the clock, this Yamaha YP250R X Max wasn't in all that bad shape considering how cheap I found it on Facebook. It doesn't look like it's had any bad falls or damage, so I decided that this scoot would be perfect to take me to another continent. I did add some heated grips as well as a fast charging USB port, also a top box to help with some extra storage. This is gonna be a wild adventure. I have no idea if this bike is actually gonna make it. It's pretty old, I'm not gonna lie. It's not a new bike. But that is what this channel is all about, throwing ourselves into the unknown and seeing what is possible. When I do these sort of trips with pretty much no plan, I always end up meeting incredible people, making amazing memories and stocking up on stories to one day tell the grandkids. And that is what life is about. So guys, without further ado, I say we get on the bloody roads. Let's do this. Right. right, my ferry is booked. It is time to go an hour and 37 minutes to Dover. This is just step one, get out of the UK. I have no idea where I'm sleeping tonight, but this is all part of the adventure. Let's bloody go. pounds the premium lounge you get privacy chill seats and free food prosecco and drinks it's not a bad deal Let's go! 
we are in Calais. Bloody made it. It is almost 9 p.m. I need to find somewhere to sleep. Am I gonna get a campsite or somewhere now? I don't know. All right, let's do some Googling. It's seeming like all the campsites that I could have stayed at are now closed for check-in. So I think we're going wild tonight. I'm just gonna go find a forest. I think that is the best thing that I can do, which is fine. I love a bit of a wild camp. Yeah, let's go find a bloody forest, man. The goal is find the forest before it's too dark so I can actually set it all up and have a good night's kit. Okay, this is looking promising. I'm not gonna lie, France is quite eerie. It's got a weird eeriness about it. All these tree lines up here, that's where I'm going. Ooh, this is like a nice little spot, man. South Autarishan. Ooh. Okay, the sun is truly certain. We're going up there. I think there's a spot where I can camp, so let's do it. What I've realized is where I wanted to camp is very wet and uneven, but there's some really perfect hammock trees, so I'm going back to get my bike with my hammock, and I'm gonna bring it here. You're not really supposed to, but I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna drive my bike down this road, park it near, wake up early and get out of here early. I think that's the best way to do it. sketchiest place I've ever slept in. It's definitely up there, um, but look, at least we got a hammock. I'm gonna make some noodles. I'd love a fire, but everything is wet. I have left this a bit late, but look, we're not gonna die, I think. It is quite scary here though. I'll be fine. That is unreal. Look, is everything wet? Yes. Am I in a sketchy location? Yes. But I've got noodles, so I'm happy. And this is what life is about. Putting yourself out of your fucking comfort zone. Jesus. Yee! Not gonna lie, these smell banging. Right, let's have some dinner. And then, yeah, I'm gonna get to bed. Right, um, I'm pretty sure I heard gunshots. <laughs> Could have been a car. I'm telling myself it's a car, but it sounded dodgy. That was loud though. I am cozy. It's a bit creepy, but yeah, I'm chilling, man. I got the hammock, I got my roof. Look at this, guys. I've used my phone case to sandwich the tarp line, and I've got bloody Netflix chilling on the roof. Not bad at all. I'm about to watch a little film and get some shut eye, and then tomorrow is another big day. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, good morning, people. I'm a bit chilly. I had a decent sleep. It's time to get up. It's like 8 a.m. We've got an entire day. We're going to put in a shift today. Yeah, baby! We're back on the roads. Who knows what the day will hold for us. Okay, so I had officially made it from London to France in Calais and survived the night. From there, I decided that I wanted to go to a city to plan my route better so I could make sure I wouldn't be pushing the bike too much to the point where it would explode. So that left me with a four hour journey from Calais to Paris. There aren't really any campsites in Paris, so I'm staying in a hostel, cheap hostel for tonight. And then I'm gonna spend the afternoon planning my stop so I can just bang this out. Boom, let's do it, let's go. Love a 
toll, don't we? I'm gonna pay a lot of money in tolls on this trip, but we move. Come on. Where is there a U-turn? The fuck? Man's coming into incoming traffic. Mad. My phone battery died taking a break to charge it because don't know where I'm going without that. But guys, look at this. Look at my helmet. Oh, bug genocide on my helmet, man. Literally, I'll be riding and a wasp will just splat on my face. I literally brushed my bottoms on the exhaust. That's how hot the bike's getting. I'm worried it's getting like too hot for too long. I really don't want something to bloody melt but she's doing well so far she's doing very well and also the fucking sun's out man it's such a nice day today look barely any clouds oh oh yeah next stop is paris a lot better paris Yay! We are closing in, ladies and gentlemen. One hour left, one hour. Oh, we are in Paris, baby. Jeez. Let's go. My back is killing me. My lower back is feeling this trip, man. Solid progress right now. Look how beautiful this is, man. Jeez. Almost six minutes away from the hostel. And then we can chill for the day. Start planning the rest of the route. Boom. I'm gonna go get checked in. And then I'm gonna go explore Paris for a bit. Just vibe, you know? Because we in Paris. Seems to be a bit of a ominous liquid coming out of the front. Um, I'm gonna ignore that until it becomes a problem. I have a reservation. You all vlogging? Yeah, man. Do you want to say hello to my video? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually made it to Paris. This is barely even the start. Yes, boss. Yeah. Boom. Paris. Ticked off. Now we only got to go about another 1,500 miles. Ah. <laughs> Let's go. So whilst I'm here, it's only right that I try something I've never tried. And when in Paris, first ever snail. Let's go. It's good. It's not bad. I was scared to eat this. <laughs> Have any of you guys ever tried snail? No. Do you want to try one? Get try get deep in there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and then scoop it out. Oh, it's good. It's quite good, right? Yeah, not bad, man. Got the whole restaurant trying it. Yeah. Let's go. Bottoms up. Bit. Yeah. That was very good. <laughs> that is actually good. That is, man. I only did that for the bit. I thought I was going to eat one and hate it. They were banging. They were well good. I finished it. I fully finished it. That was solid. <laughs> Snails are good. Fair play.
Okay, it is day three of the London to Africa journey. I woke up feeling kind of ill. Got a bit of a cold brewing. I can feel the snot, feel the cough. Regardless, there is nothing that can stop these wheels from rolling on the roads today. So we are going to get suited up. We're going to get booted up. We're going to get on the roads. Today, we're doing a five hour drive to Leon. Make some pace today. Uh, I got to get there by 8 p.m. And if I don't, I will have nowhere to sleep. But before we do that, I got to take a quick second to thank today's sponsor, Manscaped. Manscaped is a reputable company and that is proven by the eight million people around the world that use their products. And their performance package 4.0 is a game changer when it comes to creating the ultimate men's grooming bundle. Now here we have the package and as you can see, we have the Lawnmower 4.0. Their fourth generation electric trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade designed to reduce grooming accidents and has a 4000K LED spotlight for when you need to take a more precise shave. Because this trimmer is waterproof, you can trim in the shower and finally say goodbye to that mess that you leave on the bathroom floor. The Lorma 4.0 features a very smart cordless charging system and these little LEDs on the front to show you how much power you've got left. The battery will last up to 90 minutes with a full charge. If you're traveling, just click that button three times and it will enable that travel lock feature. The performance package 4.0 also includes the Weed Whacker 2.0 nose and ear hair trimmer. The Weed Whacker 2.0 uses a powerful 7000 RPM motor with an improved steel blade system and upgraded cutting performance from their first generation Weed Whacker. The Weed Whacker 2.0 is cordless, rechargeable, has a battery of up to 45 minutes of runtime, the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, yes, Ball Deodorant, and the Crop Preserver Ball Toner Spray. They got anti-chafing boxes. If you walk a lot or you run a lot, trust me, chafing is a nightmare. And they even threw in the shed travel bag. Go to manscaped.com today to get 20% off and free international shipping when you use this code at checkout right here. That is 20% off and free shipping when you use this code at manscaped.com. Now back to the video. 275 miles today. Hopefully my bike makes it. Let's bloody do this. <laughs> yes, <it> was. <laughs> Do my face. <laughs> yeah. I have no money, boss. Thank you. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. <laughs> yes, my guys. <laughs> boys. Love. <laughs> the kindness of strangers, man. Right, I've literally just had to pull up on the side of the motorway. One thing I have just noticed is I have pretty much no brake fluid. That might be what all this liquid is. Spraying up my bike. <laughs> Probably gonna have to get that sorted. Need brakes. Oh. Jesus. My lower back isn't built for this, man. Not as young as I used to be. But I do have a secret weapon. We got the ibuprofen gel. All right, on there. What a lovely place I'm in. This is so pretty. I just crashed my drone straight into a tree. Just chilling in a tree. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna go have to go on a rescue mission. It's right up there. Everything has thorns. Where is it? Ah, 
I see it. It's in a bit of a precarious spot. Uh. Okay, she's down. Hello. Five now, I have to be there late as eight and it's still an hour and a half, two hour drive. So I'm gonna get on the road and let's get to bloody Leon. Okay, I am officially at the campsite, the third stop of this trip where I'm gonna be staying tonight. I'm gonna to be able to charge all my stuff. This is where I'm gonna have my humble abode. Without further ado, let's start up camp. Mate, check out this pad. There we got a lovely one man penthouse. Come on. So, Camp is set up. I'm gonna go get some food and then I'm gonna get to bed. And then tomorrow, I think we're gonna go Barcelona. I'm gonna try to aim for Barcelona tomorrow, I think. Maybe we'll go Barca, who knows? I'm making my way to a restaurant to get some food before I go to bed. And look at this sunset, man. Yo, let's go. Cue the drone sequence in three, two, one. <laughs> I'm actually having a nightmare. Yeah! I keep making stupid decisions. Like that. I had a low speed crash. Yes, baby! Oh my god. It's yours. Come on. 